Do you ever ask yourself, am I living a lie? I sure do. After all, I'm a substitute teacher who hates the school system. Welcome back to Capo TV, the channel where we know school's a joke and you don't want to be the punchline. If this is your first time here to Capo TV and you want to help spread the message that school is a joke, hit that subscribe button now. A hypocrite is someone that says one thing but does another. People are quick to expose others as hypocrites, but when it comes to our own lives, it's much harder to admit. That's where the question I asked earlier comes in. Am I living a lie? Noticing hypocrisy in my own life is the reason why I was kind of glad to be fired as a debt collector a year and a half after I started, and it's another reason why I had to quit being a truck dispatcher. Now I'm trying to grow this channel where the tagline is, school is a joke, don't be the punchline. I think my opinion of school is pretty clear at this point. Yet almost every single day, I wake up, I put on a shirt, I put on a tie, and I go spend seven hours of my life being a substitute teacher in a system that I hate. Am I living a lie? I mean, I justify it by saying that I'm just an independent contractor by saying that I'm not paid directly by the school because you know I work for the staffing company, so it's okay, right? And I'm honest with the students on my opinions of school. After all, most of the people that I interact with on a daily basis know about this channel. They know what I think about school. They know I hate it. They know I think it's doing them no good. But I still take the money from substitute teaching. Let me give you a short background on how I was in school. I wasn't bad at school. In fact, I did quite well at school. And I'm saying at school because, you know, school is just a big game that you have to play. I got A's all throughout high school, even in the classes that I thought I was no good at, like math. Side note, if you hate math now, there may come a point in your life where it all clicks and you realize that you're learning it wrong in school, and now math is amazing. Anyway, after high school, I went to college for free because of academic scholarships. I went to a county college for my first two years where I got A's and B's. I did get one C from a teacher that I kind of had a little tiff with, but that was my own fault, really. I then transferred to a state university to finish my last two years and earn a degree in philosophy. I went to that school for free, also on academic scholarship, and I graduated with a GPA of 3.94 out of 4.0. Now that's pretty good. I love education. I love learning. It's never been a problem for me. I would show up to class, do the work, and I learned a lot in school. And by that, in reflection, I think I mean I learned a lot despite school. Because remember, school is not the same thing as education. Yet I played the game of school really well. But now I'm on this channel telling you to defy the system, telling you that school is a joke, telling you that you should drop out if you can, and you should be responsible for your own education. Am I living a lie or what? How can I have these strong beliefs after doing so well in school and now making a living out of working in a school? I don't think I'm gonna come up with a real solid answer through this video. I just wanted to put the thought out there and I'm wondering if anyone else is struggling with the same idea in their own life. Not necessarily that you're a substitute teacher who hates school, but other things in your life. For example, maybe you have a job at an ice cream shop, but you have a serious problem with the American dairy industry. Or maybe you work at Walmart and you don't agree with Walmart's business practices, but you need the paycheck. Those are just some simple examples, but these types of things are what drive people crazy. And you know, here's something else I think of that's related to this problem. Is working in the school system holding me back in some way? Am I censoring myself without realizing it? I wonder if I didn't work as a substitute teacher, if I worked in any other industry besides the school industry, would I be saying things differently on this channel? Would I be more bold with my statements? Would I tackle different issues that I know are kind of taboo when it comes to school? What am I saying? The whole idea that school is a joke is taboo. People don't like it when you say that the school system is failing because they invested so much time and money in it. They don't want to admit that something is wrong and they don't want to do anything to change it. I don't know, everybody. What do you think? Am I living a lie? 
Am I a hypocrite? Should I stop taking the money from substitute teaching and maybe go do something else? while still working on this channel to promote change in the school system? No, of course, I'm not gonna change the course of my whole life just based on a few comments. I gotta make that decision. But perhaps, like I said earlier, this gets you thinking about your own life. What are some things in your own life where you might be living a lie? I don't know. Did this video make sense? Did I ramble too much? Am I living a lie? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this was your first time here to Capo TV please go check out some of my other more structured videos before you judge this channel. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.